are going to be peanut butter mousse cups. It's going to be a chocolate cup filled with peanut butter mousse, a wonderful dessert. I'm melting some chocolate over a warm water bath, not boiling water, but simmering water, and the bowl does not touch the water, so the water's only up to about here. And I've melted some chocolate. These are just regular chocolate chips, although you can go out and buy candy bars and you know melt those too, as long as they're just solid chocolate. And I like to use the darker chocolate the better, I think, but that's just my preference. You can use milk chocolate if you want. Now, to make the cups, there's several different things you can do. I have different types of silicone molds. Here's one that is a heart-shaped mold. It's got six cavities. I can make six little um, cups in there. I also have these cups, which are silicone also. And they'll be easy to peel off because you can just go like that and pop out the cup later. Um, I found these a while back in the supermarket, which are aluminum foil heart-shaped cup and they came in different other shapes. These are pretty good. I, I tried these too. These work well. If you don't have any of this and you don't want to go out and buy anything, maybe you have just a little custard cup or some small cup. You don't want to use a big cup. Um, that's going to make way too much dessert. And all I did with this was just take some aluminum foil and just press it on the inside and then we'll paint that with the chocolate. So, let's start. Um, I will do one of these first, and just with a paintbrush, and just paint it up the sides. You don't want this to be too thin. If it's too thin, you're going to have a very hard time molding it, and it's going to fall apart. So if you have to, go back and do more. If you see any of the foil through, go back and cover it. You shouldn't see any foil through here at any point. That one's about done. Put that on a little tray. I'm going to try one of these next. A little silicone triangle. And these come in all shapes and sizes. And these I actually bought last year after the holidays. Um, I went to one of the large craft stores and I bought these on a, on a clearance table for practically nothing. I think I paid a dollar for 12 of these. So you just keep your eyes open as you're shopping for different shaped things and you don't have to spend a lot. There's that one. And I will do a couple of the hearts. Then we're going to put these in the refrigerator when we're done with them. And we're going to leave them in for at least half an hour, preferably an hour. This is the kind of thing you can do the day before that you're going to serve your dessert. And you get this out of the way and just keep them in the refrigerator. You can unmold them or not unmold them the day before. I would just leave them in the molds to protect them so that somebody doesn't accidentally bump them in the refrigerator and break them. And then the following day, you can unmold them, put them on your plate, make your mousse, fill it up. I'm going to show you how to make peanut butter mousse, but to fill these cups, you can use white chocolate mousse, chocolate mousse, you can use instant pudding if you really want to. So that's it for filling up the cups. I'm going to take these over, put them in the refrigerator, and I'll come back and I'll show you how to make the peanut butter mousse that goes inside of it. I'm going to unmold the uh, chocolate cups right now. And this is one of the reasons why you want to make extras, because I started to just see if they were ready and I cracked one, so I didn't have enough chocolate there. So I'm gonna try the other one. It's a good thing I like these molds. This one's gonna crack, I think, too. Being really tough with it. Yep, it's cracking on me. Anyway, <laughs> till after practice, I did make one yesterday and it came out looking like this. So they do come out. What you can do to ensure that they'll come out is take more time than I did, paint your first layer, put it in the refrigerator. When it's hard, paint another layer and then make it really thick. Now, let's see how we make out with these. Here's the aluminum foil heart. I'm just gonna peel that off. These work pretty good if you can find them. Um, I haven't seen them lately. I bought these, I think, a while back and I just put them in my cupboard and here we go. There's a nice little part. Whoops, almost broke that one too. 
All right, here's another one. How that comes out. Yes, I do like these foil shapes. You can probably do this by buying the foil uh, cupcake tins and making round ones that way. That would be another way to do it. There we go. Now we'll try these, the silicone. And I can feel the chocolate getting soft already and it's only been here under the lights for moments. This would work a lot better if you tempered your chocolate. I did not. It takes a, a little bit of practice. We can do that on a different program. Yeah, I got a little bit of a break, but it'll be okay. And you can get really fancy with these. Um, you can lay out a long, thin, narrow piece of wax paper, take some chocolate, do a design on it, and wrap it around a glass and, and uh, around a straight sided glass, scotch tape it, put it in the refrigerator, and then when you take it out, you will have a ring of, kind of like a lacy ring. So here are the cups we're going to use. The two good ones I did yesterday. And now I'm going to put these back in the refrigerator and I'm going to make the peanut butter mousse that goes inside them. We'll fill them, decorate them, and I'll show you how they're finished. Now I'm going to make the filling that goes into the chocolate cups. I have um, an eight ounce package of room softened cream cheese, or you can actually soften your cream cheese in a microwave if, if you need to. One cup of creamy peanut butter. Can't have peanut butter mousse without peanut butter. And one quarter cup of sugar. We're going to put that on the mixer and we're going to beat it up until it's blended, but then we're going to beat it at a higher speed until it gets fluffier. Take it off. Make sure everything's getting in there. It's all well combined. And then we're going to make another mixture of heavy cream and vanilla and blend those together to make the mousse. almost seems like peanut butter mixture is very hard and that's because you haven't beaten it enough so you just keep beating it until it starts to lighten up you can almost hear it sounding like it's whipping rather than beating so we're going to put this aside and we're going to get another bowl and the cream and we're going to mix that up and then we're going to combine the two I have my heavy whipping cream one cup which is going to go in the mixer Heavy whipping cream, peanut butter, cream cheese, chocolate. This is not a dietary dessert, we know that. And I'm going to beat this until it's stiff. And along the way, I'm going to add half a teaspoon of vanilla.
Now we're going to combine the two. So putting in a little bit of the cream just to loosen up the peanut butter, first of all. Now add the rest of the cream and then carefully blend it in so that all that air that you whipped into the cream, you now get that light and fluffiness into the peanut butter mixture. And then as soon as I finish blending this, this will be all done and we can fill our peanut butter mousse cups and our dessert will be ready. I'm going to use a pastry bag to pipe the peanut butter mousse into my cups. You don't have to. You can use just, you know, a regular spoon and spoon it in. But I thought it would look a little bit fancier. And, and if you don't have pastry bags, you can use a heavy duty uh, freezer bag. Um, don't use the thin ones. If you do, sometimes when you go to squeeze the bag, the, the um, seams are not as strong as the heavy duty bags and then they pop and then you have stuff all over the place and it's not fun. Okay. Yeah, does this smell like peanut butter? Okay. Now, in order to help me fill my bag, I get a towel pitcher. Roll the top over to my bag. Open it up. Put it in here. I start spooning in my mousse. And after you fill your cups, you're going to want to let it sit in the refrigerator at least 30 minutes before you're serving, preferably an hour. So if you're going to serve these for a dinner party, you can fill them just before the guests come, put them in the refrigerator, and then after dinner they should be absolutely perfect to serve. There we go. Let me go get my cups. I'll fill them and we'll show you how to finish the dessert. So here are all our elements for our peanut butter mousse cup dessert. We have the cups, we have the mousse, and I made some little doodahs. Now if you've watched this program before, you've seen me do doodahs. All I did was take melted chocolate, put it in a small baggie, and pipe shapes onto uh, either parchment or aluminum foil or wax paper. This happens to be that uh, quick release or um, aluminum foil which works really nice and I just piped on some designs and you can just put your hand underneath and just pop them off and I broke that one. I'm having a bad day <laughs> but anyway here we go we've got a few of these now let's put together one of our desserts. We get a plate uh, let's do a heart I think okay we'll do a heart. We get our mousse the air out. Maybe we'll do a star or two on these. There's one peanut butter mousse dessert. I'm going to finish the others and I'm going to have a whole tray for my company this evening.